Hello guys, today we're going to talk about ratchets. Ratchets and ratchets. I know a little bit about ratchets. I got enough of them. I couldn't tell you how many I got, but why do they come unlubed from the factory? I remember when I first started buying ratchets, oh, I don't know, 40 something years ago, I assumed that all ratchets came with lube. That is not true. And I'm not, I'm not sure how many came with lube back then, but today it's hit and miss. If you get a new ratchet, always take it apart. If you feel as though you can do it without wrecking it, you know, or have parts going flying, always do yourself a favor. Uh, take it apart and see if it's got lube. Why, why do you think that is? You think it's, it's to uh, save money at the factory? I know, if it's, say it's only a couple uh, a pennies per ratchet, they're saving. Well, a couple pennies per ratchet when you sell a million ratchets, that's a lot of money, right? That could be a reason. Is it, is it environmentalist? Is it when they come in from a foreign country, they can't have any uh, lubricant? Because it's a, it's, it's a hazardous waste? I, I don't know. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that, you know? Uh, let me know what you think about it. Why do you think they come unlubed? I'm not saying they all come unlubed. I got a lot of examples here, and I'll show you in a second. And what should I use for lube, Jeff? That's a million dollar question. There are so many factors involved what you should use for lube. Every ratchet's got a personality, just like you and I. These things all react different to different lubricants. You got fine tooth, you know, 36 tooth, 24 tooth. You got uh, in, in between 70, uh, 90 tooth. Uh, you got the uh, 100 tooth, you've got 120, 144, I've seen 160. It's, uh, so every ratchet is going to react different to different lubricants. So you got to experiment, you know. I use different, different uh, lube for different things, different ratchets. And a couple of ratchets I got here, I'll just give you an example. That Koken, that came with no lube from the factory. And I think it's only, I think it's only 24 tooth. This thing was crookedly clean clean. I put, I put lube in that. I put white lithium grease in that. And this thing is smooth as butter. That's what I used on that one. I wouldn't use white lithium grease in all of them. Colkins are nice ratchets, guys. I love these. This thing is smooth as butter. That's one of my favorite ratchets with, with that knurling. Tony. Oh, God. I got about nine of these, right? Different models or different uh, sizes and uh, model numbers. None of them came with lube. KTC. This is a qual. This is a quality roto head. I'll tell you, this is a sweet, sweet little ratchet. I took this apart and I put super lube in that. Some I haven't took apart at all. I got so many. It would be Christmas before I got to all of them. That Blackhawk, that came with no lubricant, bone dry, guys. A Dewalt, bone dry. Most of my tectons came bone dry. It doesn't matter the tooth count. My Carlisle came bone dry. My Ayers, bone dry. My Vim, I got a couple of Vims, bone dry. My 120 XP came with a little bit of lube. Not a lot, but it probably doesn't need much lube. That's what I'm thinking about with that. With that, it's got the stack paws. That's got a little bit of lube. This icon had a little bit, not much. This gear wrench, this gear wrench had enough lube, right from the factory. That's an older one, though. I'm not sure if the brand new ones do. That's the '84 tooth. 
The Capri came with lube from the factory. I'm not going to go over all my ratchets, just, just a few here to show you. My Maco, that came with lube from the factory. It seems the higher end ones mostly come with lube. My Snap-on came with lube from the factory. My Ulsa ratchet came with lube from the factory. My SATA came with lube. My Die Hard came with lube. My Blue Point came with no lube. That surprised me. My Williams Roundhead came with no lube. So there you go, guys. I can go on and on and on about this. When you first get a ratchet, you know, do yourself a favor. Okay, take, take, them, take them apart and uh, check and see if they got any lube in them. You know, even if they, even if they do, it's good to take them apart and clean all the, uh, over the production debris they got in there when they, when they uh, see and see them out, you know, when they take them out and they, they drill them out and uh, see and see? Yeah. Sometimes they've got debris in there. They don't clean it out well, but check your ratchets. And uh, million dollar question, I can't answer it, but I don't know why they don't come with lube. You, you guys let me know. And every ratchet's different, guys. They, they all have their own personality. No one ratchet, no one lube works for every ratchet. It doesn't work that way. I use ATF on any, any head that's sealed. Let's see if I can find a sealed head. Like these uh, these Craftsman V series, I'll soak those in a couple days overnight in, in ATF. It seems to help a little bit. I use white li white lithium uh, grease. I use Super Lube. I use uh, Lucas oil. There's all I use motor oil sometimes. All the pens. Regular ball bearing grease for your for your really uh, fine uh, coarse coarse teeth. They're all different guys. So do, this experiment. Take your time, and uh, if you do take apart one of these ratchets, you're not too sure. Make sure you get you take it apart in a bag, a little baggie or something, one of those zip bags, ziplock bags, because once those parts go flying, you're never going to find them. You ain't too sure how to take a ratchet apart. My best advice is either find out or don't take it apart. All right, guys, that's it for today. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Why do they come unloose from the factory? Not all the time, but quite a bit. All right, guys, take care.